Radio, ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to Two G's in a Pod with this week's very special guest, Marilyn Robertson. I'm alive. Wow, very special. I've never heard you do an intro like that ever on the well, show. Marilyn Normally, deserves what happens it. is he just goes burst eyes, and I go, <laughs> "Yeah, when it's you and me." <laughs> When you and me, I usually just go, you came we're in going, like, by the way, we so were on the wall, so there, you're like, and we're going to have a very special <laughs> get on the show, and my rubbish, everybody. I was trying something out. I didn't know how well, I am. Um, you should know not to try stuff out in front of me, or I'll pick again. it apart. Um, I never will know again. Well, how did you feel about it, Marilyn? Did you like it? Um, I liked what you did, Gareth, much, but I'm writing here that Gareth, in brackets, you... what, didn't clap. <laughs> I did clap. You did not know clap that. You, for the guest. Yeah. From the guest. Uh, yeah, he's know like that Robinson. For future <laughs> enemy list Gareth Waugh. I clapped on Enjoy an Album and they said don't clap and I was like, All right, so I think maybe I've been told off too much for clapping on podcasts. Well like fuck those boys. Yeah. I guess. Fuck those mean Express boys yourself. telling you not to clap. They are quite mean it's those guys. They're very mean. Very. And I'm sick fed up of people saying they're nice. <laughs> and uh, hey, enjoy recording it right after this, Marley. <laughs> yeah, but my new name for it, because I can never remember the name for that podcast, is called What's That Noise? What's That Noise? That's What's quite that good. Noise? Yeah. yeah. Is that a podcast? What's That Noise? That's no. Liam and CMB's oh. podcast. What's that? That's or does I call him Liam and Comb? <laughs> Comb? Comb? Yeah, CMB. Kimb. Comb. Kimb. Liam and Kimba. Kimba. Wow, this is very inside baseball. <laughs> One minute, 30 seconds in. We're talking about every other podcast apart from this. Sorry. Um, welcome onto the show. There's no plan. Uh, our USP is that uh, we um, don't have one. No. We're just two white dudes talking about DMT and UFC and I've had, R-E-S-P-E-C-T. I've had three messages hilariously from friends being like, I never told you I've tried DMT. And they were all just telling me about their time on dmt oh did they see machine elves too machine elves machine elves machine elves thank Shen- you for translating Shen-elf. i honestly thought you went did they see chenevs too and i was like well first of all what the fuck is a chenev <laughs> no. you need to know that um i i think it's based to void i tried to explain loads of this to gareth last week and it was not entertaining or funny or people loved it did they yeah i don't think so should i tell my theory on the chenevs uh sure have you forgotten it? No, no, I remember. But I just feel like it's going to be wasted. No, no, give it a give it a. I have a happy way. theory and a sad theory. Mm-hmm. So you know how, like, if you take enough DMT, your trip takes you almost to another realm. Like, you almost go through the light. Have you done DMT? No. Right. No, but Me I'd love neither, to try. So I know Imagine nothing what about it. Be like. I don't know this world. So you just said there, do you know how when you take too much DMT and you go, and the answer to that was no, so I don't know. So you know the light at the end of the tunnel when you're dying? I've heard of it, yeah. Okay, so apparently when people take too much DMT, it's almost like they travel right through to the light and they Jesus. come to a big space and there's these like creatures and people describe them kind of like elves mm. and they just come and they just show you lots of stuff. It just appears and they show you things. What sort of things? Like your life? Like, it's almost impossible to explain the things they're showing you. Oh, it's it's not comprehensible. Yeah, it's like beyond. So that's why I was right. talking about dimensional stuff, right? So when you die, your brain releases Shit. DMT. So you naturally produce it. Right, so when you take loads, it's basically the experience of dying. Oh wow! Yeah, a lot of people say. So my theories on that's fairly grizz. Are they interdimensional? Well, apparently it's not grizz. Apparently it's very tranquil, and well, that's what the chemical does. It makes you feel kind of all right. Oh shit! But then I heard one story about a guy that did it, and he said uh, Satan, the pits of hell, opened in his living room, and Satan dragged him down, and he was in hell for two hours. And I'm like, oh god, that's going to be me, isn't it? That's going to be me if I do it. Everyone else is having a great time, and I'm. Getting sucked yeah, off by Satan. Me so that's so way, me. A good way to find out if you've done well enough is you take some DMT and if you're getting dragged to hell, you're like better. Oh yeah, that'll be our improve now. Yeah. yeah, I think that's actually not a bad yeah. idea. It's a very Christian way. Of Who thinking. said? Uh, I was speaking to my mate about. Uh, I'm, I'm reticent to talk about DMT again on right. a podcast, but Here uh, we are. a comedian told me last night that they did it, and they went, "Did I tell you what happened when I did it?" And I went, "No." He went, "I just lived a week of my normal life. I can remember every single detail." And that was it. That's he was like, I took the fucking bins out. <laughs> <laughs> Hell of a drug. Are they okay? Yeah, they're fine. Because the reason I say that is because when I'm in a really like, if I'm in a funk in life, then I get this thing where I get my reoccurring dream when I'm in a funk is that my alarm goes off and I'm like, oh, and I get out of bed, have a shower, brush my teeth, have breakfast, put my jacket, I'm about to leave the house and I just lie down in bed for just five minutes. And then my alarm goes off in real life. Oh. So when I'm in a funk, it's like I've got a very boring... You just do an admin. Team. Yeah. Yeah. Mm. That's, that's, it's, uh, it feels weird to apply the word funk to that. Normally funk's yeah, like would, cool and different. You're like, well, I'm in a funk. I'm in a, that, and yeah. I'm just doing basic admin. I don't yeah. know what funk means. But yeah, we don't... <laughs> 
<laughs> well, uh, you didn't get to see that. That uh, watching that was incredible because I saw your face go. I don't think I know. What I know the means. face. I've seen it a lot. <laughs> Myling does this look, which is just good, the realization. Can I just say? I feel this like as every well. chat we have, you have a realization at some point where you go, "Oh, honest to God, I genuinely think Marilyn is the most." I go back and uh, rewatch this video that I took. Uh, me and Marilyn were doing a gig at the Glasgow stand, and Marilyn drove me through. And just like as soon as I was in the car, I was like, "Oh, all of this should be documented." M- driving with Marilyn is the m- most fucking hilarious experience that I've ever had. It's right. just pure down the line definition of chaos it's um it's an, an incredible have you ever been lucky enough to you gave you dropped me off a monk about once and it was fine i no. thought oh well, i got a different <laughs> i got a different vibe what happened? it was what the most fun it? what happened that you're well the video i took uh the... i kind of mind this you, well, i mind i mind picking you up all weekend but I don't remember the drive. I remember you're not giving me petrol money. <laughs> <laughs> I remember that. Part. I remember you I mean, not even offering. Did you film it? Did he not? He did not give me petrol. Did he not? I very much offered. Did you? I must have. You must have. <laughs> that went from I did. Did I? <laughs> I surely <laughs> did. If I didn't even offer, right? Fucking post pod. How much? Why? Well, this is Etsy. I don't know how much petrol is. Well, then I you would like ask. Scammed. The I remember one time someone made me pay thirty pounds for Aberdeen, and I went, "That's not right." Oh, That's was it just not two right. of you. Uh, yeah, just to... It could be right. That It depends yeah. when it was. Was it like within the last year? 2018. Oh, that was too much. Do you know yeah. what they're doing? They're thinking about, oh, this is my road tax and this yeah. is insurance. Yeah. This is my 20 quid it should have been, I would say. 20 quid? Yeah. It's about 40 quid in petrol yeah. to Aberdeen yeah. and back. Wow, there you go. Oh, it was back then. Now, with the petrol price... It could today, be that 30. Crazy. It could yeah. be 30. Uh, anyway, what a good day uh, chat. Uh, <laughs> so that's tell, why tell I think the happened. machine elves are your earliest memories of your parents. <laughs> <laughs> tell us what happened to the uh, driving that you felt that needed documented. Uh, to be fair, as soon as we opened up that whole uh, angle of conversation, and by we, I very much mean me. Yes. Uh, have you ever started a sentence and then kind of regretted where that sentence may be going? Every day. No. <laughs> Every damn day. Well, that, there we are. There was a very funny video uh, of Marilyn trying to get the bollard down from the <laughs> the Glasgow Stand car park. Oh, right. Yeah. It's I, 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 If you were there, funny times. As soon as I started speaking about it, I was like... This, this is not podcast worthy? This is not podcast worthy. I really feel terrible It was for physical it. comedy. I feel awful for our fans a lot of the time. Well, don't say that. I feel so bad for you, honestly. I, w- I often wonder, what do you get out of this? <laughs> wow. Really? I do sometimes, yeah. Jesus H. Christ, this is a great podcast. Sometimes. Then other times oh, I'm, wow. I've, I'm in well, the Well, I'll tell you what, that brings me on to, I got a message okay. the other night. There is an agenda. And I yeah wanted to say thank you, you to this person. I was going to wait till the end. But just now we're on that. I, uh, someone called, I think her name's Kirsty. Uh, she was like, wow. you absolutely nearly caused a car crash. But we would have died laughing, so I suppose balance. My husband and I were driving that's to Pitlochry. That's what Gareth says to me after that time we drove. My <laughs> 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 uh, husband and I were driving to Pitlochry, listening to two Gs, and you were telling your TJ McKenzie story. My husband had tears streaming down his face, sobbing with laughter, absolutely going to plan one of your shows. I fucking love two Gs in a pod. Well, that's lovely. So they're they're probably loving this right now. Here we are sitting here going, God, this anecdote's leading nowhere. Little do we know there is a potential car crash about I, to happen. I mean, well, first of all, you definitely want those people at your show because if they're entertained by, I film, she can get a baller down. <laughs> if that's enough for them, then a real joke would blow their little minds, I reckon. <laughs> Whoa, he's just coming up with this? No, but pretend. <laughs> anyway, um... Mylene, we often talk about uh, like like weird stuff on here. I reckon you're uh, into weird stuff. You're good at like uh, creatures and whatnot. Puzzle. If I ever what sort of weird stuff we're talking, like f- folklore sort of stuff. Mylene, oh, right, right, yeah, yeah, yeah. I often will no, message Mylene if I've got a question about like fairies or trolls. Today I held Gareth's baby for the first time. She did. Nice. And I sang it. Weird that you brought that up. Fairies. Um, and I also, I was gonna say, oh, that makes more sense. One of the presents <laughs> I gave you is just a protection. Oh, for what? The baby. Is this some weird, like, Shetland spell stuff? Uh, I think you're all witches, by the way, in Shetland. Know that, right? Wow, that's a nice compliment, actually. <laughs> <laughs> you think they're all witches in Shetland? Gotta be. 
It's too, uh, it's, I've seen too many of Marilyn's word of the days to not go, this is a witch. That's a spell. So for, anyone, <laughs> That's a spell. for our listeners that don't know, maybe, Marilyn does a, a Shetland word of the day on social media. Yeah. I've not done that for months. Have you not? I was going to say, because surely you're running out of words. Well, Should, no, have you ever made one? No, no, there's, no there's like 10,000 words. words. But... um. <laughs> They're actually all just demons' names, and if people say them, we'll bring more demons. To <laughs> <laughs> I knew there was something else going on there. I knew that was later. the day, Beelzebub. No, I know that one. Yeah. Thanks to Tenacious D. Otherwise, yeah. I would never know what the fuck that was. Beelze- you know What about Queen? The band? Yes. Beelzebub, Beelzebub. the devil got a sign for That's me. That's just made sense to me now. Wow. <laughs> You have seen good. that make sense to me, fucking live in the flesh. Of course, yeah. Now explain Scaramouche. Uh, I don't know. That Scaramouche. sounds like a dessert. Is it? <laughs> have you ever heard the Lord of the Rings version? No. Oh, it's amazing. It's like I see a little orc running down the hill. Urukai, Urukai. That's pretty good. <laughs> it's like Boromir's Rhapsody. So it's all about Boromir's, Boromir's Rhapsody. final moments in Middle Earth. So, what were you going to bring up about, uh, like old wifey tale sort of things to ask Marilyn? I uh, I can't really remember, but I did like that oh, when right. I asked Marilyn questions about goblins and trolls, and she went, "I held your baby." I'm like, "Whoa, what the <laughs> fuck is that? <laughs> what just happened there?" I held your baby, but this morning. Yeah, he was quite calm. Enjoyed the songs. You got a smile. Yeah, very smiley baby. That's good. Yeah. I can't remember you saying you were waiting for the emotes to happen, and they, they've there you started go. happening. He yeah, laughs and happening, smiles yeah. a lot now. I can get a laugh out yeah, of yeah. now. Yeah. <laughs> I can get a laugh from them, yeah. and they're easy, easy oh, laughs. Yeah, they are. You don't have to do an awful. He's lot. turned into a great audience overnight. This kid. Uh, he likes being called stinky. <laughs> oh, that's the best. I don't think he knows. P- what I, yeah, I'm always like, oh, you're stinky, and he's like, ah. <laughs> I totally am stinky. Yeah, I can sometimes say I've not showered for like two days. I'm like, who's stinky? And he's like, at me. You're like, well, it's actually me. But that's all good. Do you know I was hanging out with uh, Otis a couple of days ago? Yeah, twenty five minutes tops hanging out with this kid i was fucking knackered after that 25 minutes of intense but 25 well, minutes sorry bets were you doing uh it was a lot of, it was a lot of like on on body climbing that i wasn't necessarily great with i was scared i was going i'm still gonna kill this kid so like he's climbing all over he's you he's climbing all over me and then i'd seen his dad do this thing called the tickle claw so i was like i'll pinch that and oh, I went, right. I have a tickle claw too, and started tickling him, and he's losing his shit. You, you're quite, quite happy to steal other people's bits, aren't you? <laughs> yeah, very happy to do it. He said very last week on the podcast he would be happy for an AI to write his set for him. As a, no. Oh. That is a foul misquoting. No, I don't think so. <laughs> no, I, I would happy to use it as a jumping off. In the same way I would watch comedian specials, and then... And steal their stuff. And no, then do my own spin. I would totally watch their setups and then fucking pause and go, where would I take this joke? I also don't like airplane food. <laughs> what is deal? What is the... What is deal? <laughs> I've, that's what totally is a my... deal or no deal? <laughs> <laughs> relevant. Still relevant to this I day. I think the better okay? AI gets at writing jokes, the less it works for me. I should have gotten AI to write my sets when I was like in the early days of like... Maybe. Have Understand you tried to logic. use one? Have you ever like done it as even just like a, let's see what it comes up with. I'm not going to use this, but let's just see what's there. No, I've never done that. Yeah, I did it. Uh, I think it was that chat fucking GPD, whatever it's Chat called. GPT That's is the one, one I think. The one. Uh-oh. Uh, and, uh, <laughs> Sorry, I didn't want to do it into the mic. I shared a green room with my Elaine this weekend. What is that noise you're my doing? Nose? She's just... <laughs> It sounds like a, a, a grunt. Snort, wrong with me. Snort and snort. I was sharing a green room with her and uh, we'll, we'll name them, Amy Matthews. Yeah. And the two of them were burping in the green room and being actually oafs, pigs, pig, oafs, pig pigs, humans. Piggy oafs. We'd had tapas. They were pig humans, the two of them. How do you say tapas? Tapas. Tapas. Tap, 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 tap. We, we don't have time. We don't have time. We don't <laughs> go into so how you all this. Tap I, was, I was just sitting backstage and I went, tap, you know what? Equalities went too far. This, I, this is disgusting. Yeah. And I, he said something else and I was like, I feel vulnerable, actually. <laughs> oh, no, and I, then I went to take a drink of my water as I, after saying, you both made me feel vulnerable. And my other went, you worried your period's going to sync up with ours? And I <laughs> spat my water <laughs> everywhere. I was like, I am worried about uh, that. I did a whole weekend of gigs and that was when I was at my funniest. You <laughs> <that one? laughs> said afterwards, you were that's the biggest laugh I'll get tonight. And I was like, it's a good big it's laugh. It's a good to laugh to be fair. I'd take it. Yeah. A spurt. Well, <laughs> um, yeah, I thought it was quite a good one. It's laughs go. 
What were we talking about right before oh, that? I feel like I was in the middle of a... You spit um, I so feel like I was in the middle of something. You were. And I've then just... I said, was it the nice and those... No, the nice and those interrupted you saying... The hell was I talking about? That's completely gone from my brain. I shouldn't have AI been. writing, you AI said. writing, yes, Riley. Back on fucking track. Well <laughs> yeah. done. Um, yeah, but I did it as just like a little exercise to be like, what would fucking Bill Burr say about fucking vapes or whatever? And then the set You got these fucking vapes. <laughs> it said that. Yeah. There is a little audio I, function. I don't know. What I, would, I'd get a vape. Do you want to hear Gareth Wall recite this? And I said, yes, I do. Yeah. Um, <laughs> but the, the setups were really good and they've got it in their tone. Like, as I was reading it, I was like, I think this is what Bill Burr would say. But the fucking punchlines are still cheesy and shit. But I think in five years, genuine problem that AI actually could be right and fucking... Which is not good. It's not good. It's absolutely annoying how AI has been focused to do all that creative jobs. Yeah. yeah. Painting this we've filming. got people that can pay get them yeah. to do the banking also yeah. ai will like you know every time you've uploaded pictures to the internet like instagram facebook mm. all that stuff ai will use all those images to paint with what yeah and there's like yeah a, it's actually terrifying i don't want to go into how scary it is right now but i was like if i ever had banned or anything i just wouldn't put them on the internet because it's like now that AI is using images for other but reasons. But surely if you uh, just yeah, take a photo of, photos of the baby. Yeah. Even if you just put take photos like the cloud, it's gone to the cloud. Is the, cl- the clouds maybe Luckily. AI-able? <laughs> <laughs> you are one million years old. Just go to the cloud. The clouds maybe AI-able. I don't know. With the PCs and the electricity and electronics. Hey guys, I've just heard, I've heard the word the cloud today <laughs> and was, now I'm talking about it. You know, I was on board with was. you much. I was there. Thank yeah. you. Oh, it made... Sense, but oh, it, it, it said with it no made, belief. Yeah, but it, it said made with sense no belief. to me. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it shouldn't be. I'm not going to die about sense. I've just never heard anyone that under the age of 50 say the cloud as much as that. Well, <laughs> they're on the cloud. I, mean, so, I, mean, I don't know how it works. I mean, you've heard a day that, that could be on the cloud. Is the cloud AI-able? Is, is, it on, is the cloud AI-able? There's, There's a storm coming. Maybe the title of the podcast, to be honest. <laughs> is the cloud AI-able? <laughs> Guys, Google this. Yeah. Jamie, pull this up. It's Jamie. <laughs> Jugely. Non-existent producer, Jamie. Robert's our producer. Yeah, he we is. discussed that. He Robert's our producer. Rob, on the Rob, is, Rob. The, is the cloud AI Google this for us. Oh, I've already Get up Googled that yesterday. <laughs> <laughs> I looked it up. It is totally AI-able. Are you sure you don't Thank want... Thank you, Robert. Sparkling water. <laughs> How does he talk? Spark. Spark. That's close really? it, was, it, it was bad. close. It was close for a first yeah. attempt at uh, Welsh accent. That was not bad. For any listeners, I, I do. And I feel like I shouldn't do it because it's his dad. I've never like heard him offer sparkling water before. I've I, never I heard. He really that. was pushing the sparkling water. Like it was crazy. He was like, I can also do sparkling. Yeah. yeah. If you don't want mm-hmm. still from the tap, I have sparkling <laughs> from a bottle right Does here. Does he yeah. him half European? Because I, maybe it's that. Maybe. Like Maybe it, it is. In Germany, they would all be really upset when I drank. I think it was time. actually more likely that he's sexist. <laughs> yeah. Oh, women a love woman bubbles. Probably <laughs> bubbles in yeah. it. Bubbly. Posh, posh women. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> but I have never heard him offer sparkling water before. Maybe so I should it obtain it. Odd. Now I feel bad. Maybe he got some in and then I didn't drink it. If shame. he did that, that's more on him. If yeah. he was walking around the shop going, oh, Madeline's coming home tomorrow. Yeah. I must pick up some sparkling water I just in case. Oh, chocolate. you're a mental. I don't and want to think we're not posh people. We're very well read here. Imagine Marilyn leaves and like, all right, see you later. Door closed and Rose it's just Mary, him come going. On, get in the car, we're taking the sparkling water oh, back. Honest, can we talk about it? I want to talk about yeah. it. How fucking rude <laughs> was Marilyn not taking my sparkling water? Can we have to talk about it now? I can't believe the gall of the woman. Yeah. To look at me in the eyes and go, no, I don't want your fucking sparkling. Rude says, it's rude. It's bloody rude, Rose. We've never had a guest be Can that we not rude have her back? Off. I might ask war. I think he'll be on my side with this. Yeah, yeah, Let's yeah. not get her back. Where are we at in Sparkling Water? Do we drink it? I wish I'd never I've... bought this what, soda stream. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's fucking 600 yeah, quid down the can. It's can 600 quid. <laughs> <laughs> way overpaid in that. I was just trying to think, how much would a soda stream be? <laughs> yeah. Loads. Yeah, 600 in I your think head. 600 Your dad pounds. has been I would duped. take a zero off. Rosemary, I met a man. Yeah. I traded the cow for these beans. <laughs> <laughs> And he gave me a sort of steam, 600. Good price. <laughs> now, you, now you have to agree, that's a great price. Yeah. We can put bubbles in milk. <laughs> <laughs> if only we still had a cow. Yeah. <laughs> we can make bubbly tea. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. 
<laughs> fully <laughs> we still had a cow. Can't make the milk. Oh no, fuck that. We'd have a whole farm going on over there. Could you make fizzy milk with the soda stream, do you think? 100%. I think you can make anything fizzy. Oh, with the soda anything? Stuff. Anything. Do you think you can make anything fizzy? Bubbly, bubbly what people. about Tango Ice Blast? Do you think you could make it fizzy with a How soda dare you? stream? I know what you're doing. You're rec- you're you calling can make back. anything fizzy. Mary Lane, Tango Ice Blast, no, fizzy so or no glad fizzy? I'm not talking about humans. <laughs> Bubbly humans, fizzy <laughs> humans with soda yeah. streams. Well, I've never had one of these ice blasts, but is it just a slushy? No, it's it a slushy, it but it's fizzy. How it's can it? It's not fizzy. No it is. It's ever fizzy. It's it's fizzy. Fizzy. Can you carbonate ice? Because wouldn't that just be melting no, and slush, it would just though. be air coming out? You can't, it's never been fizzy in the history of time. There, but on, the website, it has on the website, it says, really how do you make them fizzy? It says that. You found one website. I found Their people. Website. I found people. The people website. speak the truth. The company's website. I can't believe <laughs> they say any old I nonsense on there. Crazy things. Yeah, but it's fizzy. Trust me, and that's why it's such a USP. If it was just a slushy, why would everyone love it? Because the two flavors. Yeah, the but you can flavors. get two flavors in the slushy. The so. contrasting. I've never seen that. I've only ever seen that in an I've Xbox. Never that's seen my, that. Do the that's colors, my truth. Do the colors mix? Yeah, yeah, they do eventually. Yeah, For some reason, that makes me think it can't possibly be fizzy. Yes. Get it is, if, get it, if the ice was to be fizzy, then it would need to not be. I'll bring up the website. Wait, no. <laughs> <laughs> I'll bring up the website. I'll bring I'm it up. I'm not better than that. I agree with you, though. I d- I, there's a chemical in it to make it fizzy. Well, that's the. Do you know tangle. what vanilla flavoring, vanilla essence is made of? No. What? I'll, I'll get that. Google up as well. that. I've, become... <laughs> I've forgotten, but once you hear it, it changes your life forever. I have <laughs> I've become. Forgotten. The producer. What is the the question? What is? I'm I'm pretty sure vanilla is a plant, but I also I also know a leaf. No, is it not a leaf? Yeah, yeah, some kind of plant. But there's also vanilla essence comes from something else. Vanilla extract. That's one. Right. Well, I've googled that. It doesn't come from the fluid. Uh, Vanilla extract is made by soaking vanilla beans in a mixture of water and ethanol alcohol. Um, Why is there a picture of a beaver though? Yeah, right. I I think a beaver. (laughs) (laughs) <laughs> one of the best sentences I think I might have ever heard um, why I is there a picture of a beaver I, though have oh I wait that's vanilla extract so it must be vanilla essence okay oh, thank you whoa. the beaver's a clue top top sentence of all time why is there a picture of a beaver though I'm confused <laughs> that reminds me of a time when I was in Japan what happened to you in Japan well we went to this communal bathing place so we were staying at this little camp mm. on this island and it was just <laughs> hang on what creepy. was that noise that you made mm, there creepy you don't like communal bathing no you could get your back scrubbed you can get your what's rubbed? Back scrubbed. <laughs> backs. You can get your back scrubbed. I didn't hear scrubbed. backs. I didn't hear backs there. Uh, Sack back and communal. Back. What was it? How do you, what'd you call it? Communal? Bathing. Bathing, yes. So basically we're staying in this little camp on this pity island. And um, it was like, it is a beautiful pity island, but we're staying in this camp, which is, it was like, um, it just reminded me of that, um, oh, what's it called? When all the school bands are on their end of school, a school trip, and they all wake up on the bus with collars around them, and then they have to kill each other on an island. Uh, Battle Royale. Battle Royale, yeah. 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 Well, thank God was here, because otherwise I'd be <laughs> it's going, It's a Korean Uh-oh. movie. Is it Korean or Japanese? I thought it was Japanese. I think it is yeah. Japanese. Oh, it's uh, French. <laughs> <laughs> Get out. <laughs> Basically, to skip to the end, because I've already taken too long, there's like no, no. one no. warm cubicle shower, which ran out of water, or you could go to the communal bathing, but the men and women were separate. So me and my sister were Not like, very communal, I'd say that point right there. Not very communal, if it's separate. That's true, actually. <laughs> but um, same but different. But we went to the ladies, and it was actually really nice, because you just had a locker room where you put your stuff in the locker, and I remember walking into the bathroom, but almost being like really shy. And after like three steps, you're like, oh, hey, why do we ever bother with clothes? <laughs> yeah, yeah and then, um, that quick. Yeah. It is that quick. It's the same with the naked sauna and uh, altitude. I always find that. Yeah. You're like, oh, this is fine. As soon as, because it is... As soon as you are, I remember, I think it was uh, something, Conor, I want to say Conor O'Reilly, Scottish guy, did a documentary on it. I saw. Yes, 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 yes. Buchanan, Jen, and sharing stuff about it, maybe first. Uh, and he said on that, so I watched the clip of it, and I, I was kind of fascinated by it. And he said in it, he was like, if you told me this morning that I'd be sat on a bench, speaking to two, uh, in a bench in London, a public park in London, speaking to two naked cunts, I'd be going, I would feel the most uncomfortable. I've ever been in my life. Yeah. And he was like, it became normal like that. He it's was so like, fast. It's so weird. Yeah. yeah. We're in a public place, a public park in London. Public park. Speaking to two naked people just sat there like nothing's happening. Yeah. And he went, it became normal to me very quickly. And I was like, that's, because I can't imagine that. I just Marilyn think it's because the shame. I think it's because the shame shred around the bodies. <laughs> and the so fact formal. That, <laughs> the fact that. I can like, imagine that, Marjolaine and Gareth. <laughs> 
It was like you were Friends. you were like in a sitcom. You're like on the phone to your Hello sis. Yes, yeah, me, your bro, Gareth. <laughs> How are you, Marjolaine and How Gareth How are we going to Wall? push the narrative in this call? I'm I just a player kept... and I never sell down for women, but for this new article I'm writing for this magazine, I've got to pretend to get engaged in 30 days. <laughs> <laughs> Meanwhile, across town in a separate magazine office, a woman gets a challenge. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Cindy, you fall in love too fast. I dare you to go on ten dates with a man and not fall in love. Okay, <laughs> we got a movie, everybody. We got a movie. Um, the the websites have slowly loaded up. I couldn't find out the vanilla thing, so you're just gonna have to tell us it. But uh, beavers from here from everything you wanted to know about beavers the, the Tango tr- Ice Blast from their website. You love them, we love them. But have you ever wondered how a Tango Ice Blast is Ice Blast is made? Who comes up with the flavors, and how do we make ice fizzy? It's not fizzy. It is, so it says it in black and white, <laughs> I sir. don't agree with their website. I, I disagree. I think that was maybe the plan of the mission of the Ice Blast. It, it's and then fizzy. they very quickly thing. went away from it. That's why, they realized that's why it everyone enjoys them. Why did they write so that? So many people so we heading. asked, and you were there, and you heard them, and everyone went, Ice Blast aren't fizzy. When was this? Stand. Nah, they're all lying. Because <laughs> uh, I had messages from people going, obviously... Obviously, they're fizzy. Next time I go to the cinema, I will order one because I imagine it's the only place It'll you get be them. not fizzy. I've been to the cinema and so I'll many times. Film I get a ice live blast every time. Of me getting blasted. Let's all go to the cinema after this. What can we go see? <laughs> Let's do that. Do you see? I get you ice cancel, blasted. You cancel. <laughs> what's that noise you podcast? That's my best joke. Well, yeah, oh, you I did. So yeah. I was talking over it. Classic man. Yeah. <laughs> can you? Would you please repeat it for I me? I said, next time I go to the cinema, I'll get an ice blast and I'll film myself getting blasted. Give you my reaction. Fizzy or not? <laughs> Pregnant? Yeah. You know what? That would actually be a good piece of engaging content for the social media. Please do. Film yourself getting blasted. That was your words. Yeah. <laughs> getting blasted in the cinema. I want to remind you that was your <laughs> words, not ours. Sticky fingers. And then, and then you just suck on the ice blast and then <laughs> go... <laughs> You know how to do that? He's an over-explainer. <laughs> suck on the ice blast like this. It's Such best if you just let him explain things. And <laughs> pretty much just breathing in intense. Yeah. Then so, I'll choke. <laughs> I don't want to talk about this on another podcast. I know. Let's move on. You did. I actually said to myself, we should try and keep the conversation away from sexual stuff. We had a conversation on the way here about how we both want to be cleaner comics. Yeah. And I always just... You're yeah. sucking off this ice blast. <laughs> Much he had the hand. Like, oh, I'd yeah. suck chafe. up the mean chafe. Chafe. No, 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 that's not. That would be a chafe if you really go the whole way with it. But just little, little tugs. Oh my Stop. God. This is incredible. I didn't come here to well, learn. Also, how big is this? I didn't come here to learn. She said. I didn't come here to learn. <laughs> little tugs. Gareth, also gay. Uh, but no, what I was going to say was, you, it won't be. Question mark. It won't be. <laughs> no, put exclamation mark. He definitely is gay. Uh, that's no, not what little, little, little tugs. Oh, All right, little tugs? Question mark. Exclamation! Exclamation! Face and little tugs. He'll go for days. Anyway, um, but no, ice blasts are not fizzy. Is the okay? Line. Sure. Let's just ignore the website. The actual evidence uh, they just wouldn't hold up in court. It would. So anyway, in the communal bathing area, it was yes. totally fine. <laughs> And then we had a great time. And then when next time we had to go for were you showers, with a friend or anything? It's with my sister. Yeah. And we're like, are we the only ones doing this? Because we're like half Dutch and all the rest of the Shetlanders are like, oh no, never. And we went in and it was just like really normal. It has this amazing like warm bath and it's just really nice. So the next day when everyone's going to go and queue for like an hour to use the one cubicle shower, we're like, just do the communal bathing. It's so fine. Like, don't worry about it. Like, it's totally fine and normal. And we went in and I, we were trying to like talk them through. It's like, oh yeah, you put your stuff here and then you pick up a base and you go through there. You have your bag with you. Um, and just showing things in the room. And I was like, there's really cute posters trying to teach you not to hurt yourself. Like, there's one of this little animal slipping on the floor in a puddle. So it's like, don't run. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And um, so it's all like done as comics. Yeah. So I was like trying to, like, my friends all walked in and there's already people getting changed. And I'm like, hey, everyone, look at the beaver. <laughs> <laughs> and everybody shouted at me at the same time. Because the poster was just above a woman who's getting changed. <laughs> oh, like, wow. Amazing. And I was like, the, the beaver in the picture. I'm going to take someone to come and behave and be like, oh, look at her tits. <laughs> <laughs> that is fucking outstanding. To write that's like a proper little, that's like a proper little sitcom moment, that. 
That is like something straight over a sick up. Hey, everyone, look at the beaver. And then, yeah. oh, no. <laughs> the woman's like this. How dare you? Wow. No, not you, the actual comic book beaver woman. And I, then, I don't think they should have the beaver in that area. Yeah, I would agree. <laughs> that, she should have it on her face. Yeah, <laughs> cover it up, I see. Hey, get your fucking beaver out of here, yeah. lady. This is a family joint. <laughs> cover that up. <laughs> beaver. Well, why is that a wet beaver as well? <laughs> wow. Oh. That was a good little joy. He slipped in a puddle. <laughs> he or she? Oh, yeah, yeah. Okay, got you, got you. I don't know the gender he or of this she. beaver. <laughs> um, I shouldn't be assuming. Right, I'm worried there's a lull coming, so let's chat. Oh, this. we're <laughs> in it. <laughs> I felt like yeah, I felt like I'm, after the beaver stuff. We were That's gone. the best way to get out of a lull. I'm worried there's a lull coming. Yeah, I should have pointed we're it out. F- comfy in a I lull. I should not have pointed it out. I should have <laughs> went, lull, everyone <laughs> panic. Down, hit the deck. But you are right. I did... Um, I've done other podcasts and they they're really comfortable in a lull. Yeah, not us. We don't like them. No, 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 no. We can't have them. We would just I would I would just shout Beaver again if we uh, found ourselves in a lull. That could be our code word for we get to a secret lull. Yeah. Beaver. Yeah. Could beaver. you if you hear that audience, beaver. that means we're That's panicking. our safe word. <laughs> what a terrible safe word to have. Sounds like you're just really enjoying it. Beaver <laughs> She's like, Yes it is. Um would you tell uh, Gareth about the black eyed children? Okay, they're so scary. Um, I don't want to know that. Well, Marjolaine, it's there's context. Marjolaine used to always call me a black eyed child. <laughs> I don't really remember doing it. And uh, so on really Twitch in lockdown, she would raid me from our channel, yeah. and all her followers would come in, and they'd all say, "You're a black eyed child." And I went, <laughs> "I don't you know, know what, what that... this meant at the time." Not really, no. but it sounded sinister. Yeah. And what then I found yet? out how sinister it was. So explain to him. Oh, it's so creepy. Mm. It's one of those like spooky phenomena. I scare easy. Over. He does okay, scare well, easy. Okay, well, Tony, because I've got a very a cheat way to get into your house without being cursed by them. No, stop. <laughs> Stop it immediately. It's fine. That's exactly no, what you're saying. No, words. this is fucking <laughs> madness. If you, uh, who in their right minds would go into an anecdote when the first thing said is, don't worry, I have a fucking way to get around the curse to go into your own home. Well, I think that's a good way to get into any story. Oh, to be oh, there's things God. that you got to protect yourself. It's gonna curse. Is it gonna curse this house? Because my no, mum and dad. No, it's not gonna curse this. House. It's your mum and dad's very yeah, I'd, sweet. I'd that be, you're worried about I'd them. I'd be way more worried about them than me and Ailey. No, it's not gonna curse. So basically, it's one of those things that people have spoken about all around the world, and it's like basically like a, it's like a, another kind of demonic, ghosty horror thing. That oh yeah, we just realise this everywhere. Classic, classic, classic. And it, the story creeps up quite similar most of the time, where people have reported this kind of like they're going into their house, usually about dusk. And as they're going into their house, then suddenly there's like a child near them on the doorstep. Bollocks. There's almost dressed kind of slightly oddly, like almost Bollocks. old fashioned. Bollocks. And the child's always like asking, like, can I come inside? Must use the phone. But the English. Is Must just... use well, the no, phone. No, no, it's like That's like that. preposterous. It's May I come inside? Must use the phone. <laughs> you talk like that on this podcast every week. <laughs> that is preposterous. If I open my door and say a wee fucking child going, May I come inside? Must use phone. I'd go, demon, kick it, and close the door. <laughs> See that? You're already fine. Yeah. You're already fine. <laughs> See, you've you got good instincts. Yeah, yeah, yeah. These are good instincts. Because the thing is, people say that when the child looks up at them, they look like a man, but their eyes are completely black. For no demon can take on the form of a human and look successfully like one unless they've actually like entered your body and are riding you no. like a ride. Riding you like a ride. <laughs> like yeah. an Alton Tower state. Yeah, just get up all up in you. But yeah, so so <laughs> the idea is that it's basically demons trying to get entry to your home. And the I stories that was vampires have to have permission, right? Eve, yeah, a lot of things do. Mm. Vampires are one of them. Yep, thank you. Yep, you've got to say moan in and they'll go, oh. <laughs> Your Big last mistake. ever fucking mistake. Yeah, yeah. Your last ever mistake. Yeah. Well, unless you turn you into a vampire, and then you've well, got many there'll more. There'll be to several make. more mistakes yeah. to come. It's a garlic in this. <laughs> <laughs> what a silly mistake. Uh, beaver. No. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, and then there's a stories where fuck have just said that they've been gluffed, like frightened by the same, like no, and like oh, instinctively, like. Ugh. And there's a story about this woman. <laughs> it was in her house and there's a knock at the door. She opened the door and had that kind of interaction with her yeah. black child. She's like, she was so scared by it. She shut the door. She's like, that can't be real, that can't be unreal. And she's in the house of her three-year-old and they're getting ready to go to the shops. And then 
when they're in the shop, she had her car parked outside the supermarket. She's running the stuff through the till and she's bagging it all up and she looks to the car and then she just sees that black eyed child sitting in the back of the car looking at her through the car window into the shop window. Oh, and she panics and she her son's like, Oh, he's there, he's there and it turns out her son opened the door for this black eyed child and left it in the house. Mm-hmm. So she's Mental. so terrified, she phones her husband, they drive them home, but after that Bad thing after bad thing after bad thing happens to her son. Like he breaks both his arms in an accident. He's like really ill. With, like, Does he skateboard? And he's like a three year old. He's like has he's like he's cursed after like that thing in the Th- house. A three year old broke both of their arms. Uh, yeah, I think so. I well, don't. I that's the unbelievable that. part of the story I, I for you. Can't, I can't, that's I, the unbelievable part. She knows about is. a demon being welcomed in. You're like, sorry, let me stop you there. Yeah. Uh, was this three year old sick as fucking skateboarding? Is yeah, that what yeah. we're talking about? Was he fucking cool? <laughs> was he bro? a rad dude? He's three, broke both his arms. I'm out. No, that's crazy. Then. I well, can't I explain that. The fun part of all that is uh, realizing that that's how I was described as a little demonic child. That now, I was gonna, you. I was gonna tap into that. So after all of that. You heard all that and gathered all that information, yes. and then you met Gareth Warren and went, he's one of them. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I kind of mind why he started calling you that. Maybe you've I dark, think it's just a fun thing to say. Dark eyes. You do have a quite scary vibe don't to you. Say yeah, and it's your podcast loud. days. You've got a, like don't scared. say that you have out loud. Edge. Don't say that out loud. You have an edge. It upsets me when you say <laughs> that. <laughs> <laughs> oh, okay. Uh, no, I, I, I am using it as a different kind of safe word. <laughs> Don't use the safe words. We're all safe. Like safe. Everybody's <laughs> safe. Relax. <laughs> Just relax. You're ruining this for me. Uh, I think you'd make a great black eyed child. Thank you. Um, there's so many of these stories that, and honestly, some of them fascinate me, and some of me just go, people are bonkers. The Watcher was the one I watched. Uh, <laughs> that was a funny sentence. The Watcher was one I watched recently, yeah. and so, and I because I'm this guy. Once I watch something, I Tell go us on. What the Watcher is go on the the what? Okay, <laughs> the Watcher is about this family that buy what they uh, uh, believe to be their dream home in the suburbs just outside. It's the movie New York City. Real story. Okay. Oh, no. All based on true events, uh, and they start receiving this letter uh, saying. Uh, addressed to them as the new Oh my god, occupants. it's the BBC licensing people. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. So Real funny. scary. You wouldn't steal a car. <laughs> it's, it's based on true events. They got them. Uh, no, and it's just like address to the house going, we're watching you, we're watching the house, make the right decisions for the house. Uh, I am the watcher. And they just keep getting these letters and cuckoo crazy cuckoo. fucking <laughs> crazy things keep happening. Sorry? I said cuckoo cuckoo. Yeah. Uh, you don't get the joke. I don't at all. I know, but you said yeah and laughed, which is be nice. polite. Be polite. Like an egg. I'm now terrified that everything, because I get accused of not laughing at Walt's jokes, so I'm now just No, 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 no. I don't I'm, accuse you of I'm not really laughing. You do laugh all the time, but I know when you get them and when you don't. I is can see it. Is that fizzy water? Because uh-huh. it's just got more bubbles in it than mine. No, that is... Um, dirty glass. A dirty glass. Oh, and now I've just upset Robert in two ways. Yep, you have, you have. <laughs> you know what? I'm beginning to think he's right about you. Yeah. You are all a bit the rude, things actually. he said I, in his I head. I had a story that's probably moved on from now, so let's continue. The Watcher. <laughs> <laughs> I was mid anecdote. That's the first time I've ever heard someone say mid anecdote. I think I had a story, but we'll continue. I want you to know that I had an anecdote. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And the time has been. I long. want you to know the uselessness we're in now. I had something else, but please continue. Yeah, sorry. So the watch. This is a movie you watched. It's a series. Okay. And uh, so I, basically, I watched all of it. It's it's quite scary, but it turns into more of a kind of thriller. But the fact that it was all based on true events. So then it started happening to the people that moved in after. And then I was like, eh, two people could have fucking... Could two people be bonkers enough to make this shit up back to back? Yeah. Maybe. But also, maybe not. But then... There'll be ailments of maybe somebody pranking them or something. Well, that's what they believed it to be. But um, there's, there is reasons why it also couldn't be uh, a prank. But, you know, that would be spoiling the show. Anyway. Right. So I went... After I watched the show, I went on... To the interwebs, yeah, the cloud. More the about cloud. this cloud. I is this Watcher <laughs> AI, perhaps, or <laughs> is the Watcher AIable? Yeah, um, and uh, and there's still people. There's, there's people living in this house now, and I was like, well, people are going to be fucking post this show, going to be going up and spooking them all the yeah. time. And the people that live in the house now are like, we've started getting like hundreds of thousands of letters, and it's like, well, of course you have. You're a Netflix fucking show. Yeah, but they're still trying to spin this. 
We're getting so many letters. Yeah, because Johnny, who lives 20 miles away, watched your Netflix show and thought yeah. you were funny with his mate, we should Brandon. Send one. Brandon? <laughs> yeah. Johnny and Brandon. Oh, they sound like a couple of cool guys. They're I'd like right. to hang out with Johnny and Brandon. They skateboard. They're rad. They do. They're going to break both Bro- their arms. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> They're black eyed boys. No, boys. Children. Jesus. <laughs> yeah, it's black eyed boys. Black they will be what I'm looking done with them. Will I am? Spin you off stop band sending those boys. letters to my wife, Johnny and Brandon. <laughs> or you're going to be a couple of black eyed boys. <laughs> yeah, Fergie's spin off band didn't go as yeah. great. <laughs> <laughs> Very, the only women as well. <laughs> the only women of the whole group. I was going to make it. I'm going to start my own but... thing. It's called Black Eyed Boys. Right, Marilyn. That uh, probably brings us to the end of the public episode. But before wow. you what? go anywhere, it what didn't have to be. This? We've been 40 minutes, to be fair. Jeez Louise. Yep. But uh, I wanted to know what your anecdote was before. We... Uh, I had a few. I just didn't care what I you feel like you've hear. not. I've got that one, and then I've got the other anecdote wasn't so good. Were you Let's writing do down this your one. anecdote? No, that's not an anecdote. I was just thinking about the fact that I'm bleeding. Right now? Yeah. Okay. You should have warned us before. There could be bears in this podcast. <laughs> <laughs> The fucking bear come crashing through there. It doesn't thinking, not look like a little it, cabin in the woods, yeah. does it? The only thing to scare a bear away would mean fizzy water. <laughs> <laughs> I need some fizzy water. Robert, listening back to this episode, going, "Well, it's the full well, more full then." <laughs> you know what? I'm glad they got attacked by bears and died. Learned their bloody lesson. Yeah. <laughs> it's funny he still put the episode out. <laughs> we all died, but he's happy now. Well, it's good stuff. They've got yeah. good stuff in there about. And also, I feel vindicated because of the bear attack. Children. I'm sad about my boy dead. <laughs> Boy dead. I'm a black I'm sorry, child. I'm sorry about my boy dead. I'm sorry about my boy dead. <laughs> right, Marilyn. Oh, dear. Pick one of these. These are an extremely personal question. There's going to be two questions on the card. You only have to answer one of them. Okay. And you can pick me or what to answer the other one. That's an interesting Ooh, little twist. Cool. Yeah, spot. sure. That's a good little twist on the spot. <laughs> so, um, where is the most unfortunate place where you have crapped your pants? Or what are you most ashamed of a parent catching you doing? Um, right, yeah. I could answer both of them. You could? Mm-hmm. I could answer one. Okay. <laughs> and I don't know what my one is. <laughs> <laughs> you don't have to. If you I don't, I don't you know if it's too much. That won't be too much. If you want to share it, but you're worried about it going down the wrong way, don't worry about that. The, the creeps it's going to go are... down for the way that no one's going to guess it's going to go down. Right. I mean, I admit it to fucking Can I guess which one it is? Yeah. One, so. Is it the first one? Yeah. Yeah. Tell us, about, yourself. tell us yeah. about shitting your pants, yeah, please. Yeah. It's a shit yourself story. We promise we won't clip it. <laughs> you know, this is a good this this is a good test. This is a good test for um for <laughs> if friends listen to this podcast or not. Yeah, well, yeah. I don't think it, friends do listen to us, unfortunately. Okay, then I could definitely say this one. So um I never really put myself much ever. Until I got a bit older. Humble brag. <laughs> <laughs> Very humble brag. But I remember the first time I. This is more than one. The first time I. How much time do I have? We've got loads plenty, of time. plenty, plenty, the plenty. The first time I. Miss no detail. Put myself as an adult uh, was uh, the first ever fringe I did. And I was just doing a short run. Hmm. Yeah, I don't know if you know, I got into comedy back front, so I was doing fringes before fives oh, yeah. and stuff. Yeah. And I got my first ever review, and it was three stars, and I was so chuffed because it's all brand new to me. <laughs> Now I know. No, and then, um, <laughs> now you know. That review no, could be worse. I was so chuffed because I was like, No, I would be buzzing first over three stars in my first year. Are you kidding? That's great. Got three stars, and I was so happy. And I was like, Oh, because you know when life is really happy, and you're like, Life is too good, something's going to go yeah, wrong. Yeah, yeah. Yes. And then it, within that thought, I farted, but it wasn't a fart. And like, all, it all just happened like. <laughs> Instantly, yeah. yeah, in my pajamas, staying at my friends in Edinburgh, and just like put myself. <laughs> <laughs> but that isn't the story. Life is that too is, good. That's not even the, that's <laughs> that, not even the story. That's introductory. So, so like since the then, intro. it's like what oh, I find wow. is sometimes what I find is I think when you get older, I don't know what happens to your sphincter, but when I'm spewing, you get more you confident. You get when more you're confident. spewing, you have to poop. Well, this is a new thing. When I I rarely ever, I, I rarely ever spew. Oh my god, here it comes. Basically. <laughs> A year ago, mm. almost to the day, <laughs> almost to the day, I was staying at Lehman Lawrence. Excellent. And you even got the location. <laughs> Liam with nail of what's that noise? And um, <laughs> I uh, I now know I was coming down with COVID, so it's really not my right, fault. Right. Okay. But I had come home and gone to bed and I woke up in the middle of the night it's like oh my belly doesn't feel well I never ever normally spew it's not I don't spew it ever really and I was like what's happening and I was like oh I'm gonna be sick 
I went to the toilet uh-huh. and I spewed, but I maybe pooped at the same time. <laughs> Maybe. You maybe pooped. I pooped. Maybe. Yeah. I shat myself at the same And I was like, one of those things was like, well, do I sit on the toilet and spew in the sink? But by this point, oh, yeah. everything Sophie's was happening. Sophie's choice. That's a real Sophie's <laughs> choice right there. But like, it was already happening. I couldn't change position. We <laughs> 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 like, try to do more. Like, ah, uh. So that's the time I <laughs> shat myself. You didn't have to tell us that story. <laughs> the whole time you were like, oh, why am I doing this? And nope. <laughs> And I, I never told. I never told we Liam sat, yeah. that yeah. I put myself in his toilet. That's great, but not in the toilet. Well, that's okay. Well, I was looking at the toilet. Did you clean it There's up? There's nothing worse than pooping yourself whilst looking at a toilet and being like, "This should be in there." Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> what a phenomenal, phenomenal life. There is nothing worse than pooping whilst looking, looking at into toilet a toilet and going, "This should be in there." <laughs> <laughs> What a phenomenal, uh, phenomenal <laughs> It's almost like a fucking uh, Confucius say sort of thing. Oh man. Yeah. I believe it was Plato that said that. Uh, oh my fucking god. That's ah amazing. yes, Sh- Chaucer. Don't look into a oh, toilet and shit. God. Oh, that I mean, should be not, in there. Yeah, yeah, I've got it all wrong. <laughs> right, that's the end of the episode. We're not topping that. <laughs> Right. Oh, Marilyn, Stop. thank you so much for coming oh, on. Oh, wait, do you want to plug anything? Um, Maybe. Yeah, I'm doing a show in the Glasgow stand on 22nd of April. Yeah, we'll be out before that. Yeah, so yeah, please sure. please get tickets for that because it's, it's an extra show because I saw it at the Comedy Festival one and now maybe I shouldn't have ever put on an extra show. Maybe I'll film it. Where is it? What time? Glasgow stand, I think, on Saturday, April 22nd. 5pm that's good that's pretty good you can get tickets on the stands website just uh, look at the date and you'll see yep. my lane there yeah. uh, but Marilyn, thank you so much for coming on <laughs> oh and we're me. now going to go and do our patreon uh, so very quick plug for the patreon for as little as three pounds a month you can join our gang of merry misfits in the discord <laughs> uh, <laughs> got you um, you can and it's the price of a coffee uh, three, three pounds a month <laughs> <laughs> Let me Let me let me fucking finish the podcast. Oh, <laughs> Do you think you got this one? Oh, or did you just laugh? Oh god, oh god. I don't think I've ever had this. <laughs> You've turned it You've turned it a Bert Kreischer. Oh my god. I've never had this reaction. 50 episodes it's taken to get this. <laughs> oh my god. For as little as three pounds a month, <laughs> you can join our Patreon. It means that you get an extra bonus episode every single week. It's the price of a coffee just once a month. Uh, and Or you can pay more and you get extra benefits. You can be one of our top Gs like Alan, Amy, Ashley, Jamesy, Nicola, Ryan. Uh, thank you all very much for being top Gs. Uh, it's the best way to support the podcast and keep us doing it. Thanks to our guest, Mylene, and thank you to my cohort, Gareth Much. <laughs> My merry man. Thank you for having me. You're welcome. Oh my god.